from Aussie Elite. I'm doing something completely different this time. All these fashion and models and all that kind of stuff. This time it's something else really beautiful. The Dawn Princess cruise ship. So we're actually leaving Sydney Harbour. It's a beautiful day. Heading down around New Zealand. And I'll show you a glimpse to the inside of the ship as well. So the first thing you get is a swipe card. It's like your passport to get on and off the ship, into your rooms, to um, act as a credit card to purchase on the ship as well. And your room, as you can see, it's quite spacious. It's like a little motel room. It's got a bar fridge, which is normally empty. And um, it's got a TV, all the usual, hair dryer, phone you can talk to other rooms with, any friends and guests. So yeah, you can see a lot of storage space, has a bathroom as well, which has all the facilities that you would expect. Yeah, your towels get changed every day, even twice a day. Even that PowerPoint, but that's an American style PowerPoint, Australian next to the TV. Shampoos, all the usual stuff. So you can chill out, read a book, whatever you want to do, or look at the guide that tells you what's on. And they give you one of these every single day, which is fantastic. So many things to do and see, it's all listed there. Long hallways into the stairwell, and there's even laundry facilities on each level, or you can pay the staff to do it for you. A lot of walking happens around this place, which is good, you'll see why later. Elevators everywhere, plenty of them to use, or stairwells. Opens up into something that looks like a hotel, with shopping, all the essentials, plus your fashion, alcohol, jewellery, all sorts of stuff, perfumes, loads of shopping you can do, or duty free of course I'm sure. And bars, have we talked about the bars? Well there are bars everywhere, always nice views, and if you plan on drinking a fair bit, there's tea, coffee, alcohol, soft drink packages available as well. Indoor, outdoor, they're all over the place, dancing, so many things to enjoy. There's the outdoor bar by the pool, beautiful spot. Even a nightclub, so you can do some dancing until the wee hours of the morning. There's entertainment all over the place as you walk around, it's very, very nice. All sorts of different styles. Princess Theatre, a big theatre, every ship has one. And this is where all the big acts come to. You can enjoy some culture, always a good thing. The, the main shows, there's comedians, there's bands, there's dancers, there's all kinds of musicians and fantastic, really, really worthwhile, every night. There's even party nights, a whole lot of fun. And you can even see what's on or message your friends via the onboard website and app. Here's the main pool deck, but there are pools all over the place, front and back of the ship as well. Hot tubs, loads of fun to be had. Beautiful views, you can enjoy the sun as much as you like. Always plenty of time for relaxation while you're cruising or when you're in port, waiting to leave. There's other activities, carpet bowls, basketball, gym of course, and there's Zumba and other fitness activities, line dancing, you can learn and have a whole lot of fun with that as you can see, lots of different things to do. The chefs, well they show off as well, they show you how to carve up fruit. Loads of entertainment and stuff for the teenagers. There's a special room for them, the in-betweens, and even the little ones. And they have their own fun times and people to look after them, their own space and activities to do. Movies under the stars every single night. It's a great thing to do as well. They give you blankets and all. And aside from the views while at sea, there is food everywhere, all over the ship. So there's a buffet. Terrace Grill has burgers and hot dogs and pies anytime you want around the pool. There's, this is a pizza bar, pizza restaurant I should say. Then the main buffet is absolutely massive. There's two sides and there is food galore. All different types, it's always fresh and um, highly recommended. Desserts, well, 
This is why we recommend walking around the ship and not using the lifts. There's lots to drink as well, as well as some juices at times. And in the evening, you're booked into the restaurant for fine dining every night. The staff are fantastic and friendly, something very enjoyable. And the food and the menu is really good. It is like a high-end restaurant. The menu, always changing every night. The ship itself, well, there is so much to see and do around the ship. There is quite a bit of time at sea and in port, but the views everywhere. You see a lot of landscape and coastline as you go. If the water's a bit rough, there's always support for that as well. And we recommend a room around midship if you get seasick. Yeah, it's great cruising experiences and the views from your room. It's amazing. And you can even jog around the whole ship. Once you get into port, something different again. All sorts of great experiences around the port. And you can arrive via a dock like this. Often there's a welcoming committee. And locals welcoming you. And another fun experience is when the ship docks in the middle of a bay and you have to hop on a tender, they call it, that little boat there, which is really a lifeboat from the ship. And they take you into port. Sadly, it reaches a point where it's time to go home and say goodbye. It's been a great experience. I'm not sure if you come back new, as their slogan is, but it's certainly fantastic and you'll love it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you to have a great cruise too.